we're back right to review this world can't tear me down another great netflix cartoon by zero cock hair seriously uh i love if you haven't watched tear along the dot line i think that was like one of my highest rating cartoons for 2021 seriously i really loved the uh, tear dot along the dot line i think i gave it a 9 out of 10 probably could have been a 10 out of 10 thinking back on it especially after this one um so we're back right zero's talking about um some refugees the neo-fascist movement and friendship actually uh so he goes back and forth through his teenage years meeting uh cesare um becoming friends with him helping him along his path uh sticking by him because of his friend um and of course we get everyone else involved you have sarah you have uh What's his name? <laughs> Guy who always wants ice cream. I always forget his name. Seco. There you go. I don't know. I always forget his name. I, I just remember is you want to go get some ice cream. You know. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, we go through all their their experiences. Uh, we get some closures on some things here that we got didn't get in the first season or first uh, animated series. I don't know how they're doing this, but um, you know, Sarah's finally becoming a teacher after working at that you know job she hated. Zero's got notoriety, right? He's become a great comic book artist. And Seko, I don't know, so playing online poker or something. I mean, they didn't really get to him too much. But uh, Cesare is who we were focusing on here. He's been away for 10 plus years, 20 plus years, I think it was. Where has he been? Rehab. So he's trying to, you know, figure that out along with figuring out what he, how, how he wants to, you know, stand against the neo-fascist movement and getting these refugees out because they're taking their jobs seriously we've been through this in america too people always saying oh you know immigrants taking our jobs here and there so it's kind of interesting to see this in another perspective in another world especially with the neo-fascist movement which we have some of them here but it's just crazy that they're a lot more prominent over there i guess i don't know it just seems like it from the show um we get through that we get to see uh parties that they went to when they were younger party house we all had that i had that growing up you know it's just a great show i'm glad this came out i was like not expecting it and i loved it um music whoo great music man all the way from oasis cigarettes after sex to you know angelic upstarts just great music all around same as season one or the first you know tear along along the dot line intro was amazing i loved it i mean seriously the way this ended though I don't know they're gonna show more i want to see more i mean it it ended but they it kind of just went their separate ways here i don't know what's gonna happen next are, are sarah's future uh, you know jeopardized because of what she did at the protest slash riot <laughs> i don't know we're gonna see what happens if the, he's gonna make more of this i mean hopefully zero does i enjoyed this very much very punk very inform informative um what would i give this one right i mean i love the first one because of the you know message it had this one still has a great message and i'm still gonna give it a 9 out of 10 i enjoyed it very well i think it's on par with the first part maybe a little less but still 9 out of 10 and uh hopefully they keep making it thank you for watching my review and i'll watch you uh watch you guys i'll see you guys next time all right peace